Welcome to the DZ Easy Show. I'm Eric Grangel, reminding you to be positive as we explore the ideas of Ted Nelson and dream about building a better metaverse. Welcome to the DZ Easy Show. This show is about communicating with ET. And we tried to do this with a record in 1977 aboard Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. So let's take a look at some other attempts to communicate. We sent this message from the Arecibo um, telescope in radio telescope in Puerto Rico. And it is 23 wide and another, another prime number long. So if you received this, would you make any sense of it? Hmm, there's somebody in here. I wonder who that is. And we also sent a plaque aboard the Pioneer spacecraft. And it had this picture. Now, that picture is without the naked man and woman is also on the Voyager Golden Record. So here is where it starts. So in the lower right corner, we have a diagram showing the transition of a hydrogen atom. So there's like a little dot here and a dot here. So that represents the number one, and that's used to indicate a binary digit and also um, a mark of time. That time unit is so small, a billionth of a second. So that is used for all numbers in this document. So these numbers, assuming this is where we are, these are distances to known pulsars. So these extraterrestrials would need to uh, figure out these binary numbers, multiply it by the time unit. Um, it's, so there's a translation of time to distance. And uh, this is your diagram of how to play the record. So um, this is like the 33 and a third RPM encoded in binary. So you start at the outer groove and it should uh, progress inward like this. Um, this is, uh, okay, so there's actually data encoded on the record. And when you get that waveform data, you will need to get it into frames and then figure out what to do for these frames and create an image going vertically and uh, then the first image that you will see is a circle. So you adjust your aspect ratio until you get a circle. So hopefully the aliens will be able to figure that out. Okay, and it, all this is documented in this book, Murmurs of Earth by Carl Sagan, which you can read on the Internet Archive. And this web page here gives you a lot of information about the uh, record, the details of what is on it, and uh, the time units. And there's actually a little piece of uranium so they could de detect how long it's been in space since 1977. So there's fascinating maps here. Um, now, you can see these pictures because there was a CD-ROM that was created um, in the 90s, and it is now on the Internet Archive, and it can run in DOSBox. So after you install DOSBox, you um, need this directory, uh, these files, which come from the Internet Archive. And um, this is a DOS application, so you need to mount a C drive. So you do mount a C to um, your home directory slash DOSBox. Okay, so now you have a C drive and you have PC Murmur, so CD, PC, MUR, MUR. And you have these files and there's a readme and um, you type murmurs 
and that runs the batch file which launches this old software. Murmurs of Earth, images from the Voyager interstellar record. Okay, um, if you need to magnify, use the um, Apple Plus, whatever. Okay, so this is the first image that you get um, and um, you can advance using the up arrow or go back to the previous with the down arrow. So there are 122 images, and uh, this is what the aliens will see when they download, when they um, figure out how to extract the data from the record and figure out how to create the image. So they got their circle working, so now you go next, and you get the pulsar map, and a picture of the Milky Way galaxy. So these are the people who sent us this record. And now we need to teach them some math in order to uh, communicate. So we need to teach them binary. So one dot is the number one, two dots is a one zero, and that's a Roman, uh, that's the um, Arabic numeral two. So we want to use these numbers going forward. So we need to teach them the equivalence in binary. So assuming they could figure out, okay, uh, the difference between these three, okay, it's base two, and then this is the crazy symbol that these humans are using for this uh, obvious binary uh, number. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then they jump to twelve, showing how this um, eight plus two becomes eight plus four, and 24 is 16 plus 8, and then 100. Oh, these crazy humans use decimal. And what is this number up here? 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, uh, so this is, okay, we know what that is. That's 100, and that's 1,000, but this is how the humans look at those numbers, and they use this notation, so that's... Uh, like 10 times 10 and 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, now we understand exponentiation. And to test ourselves, we have a 2 plus 3. So we look up this, we get this, we get uh, the 3, and we uh, and the 5 is this. Okay, so these gr group of dots equal these group of dots. So that, that must mean equals, and that must mean addition. All right, another problem eight. Now, what is this one seven, one seven? What are they doing here? They're making a number. Okay, it must be like they do here. So that's like 16 plus one plus eight. Uh, so here's the 24. If you had a one here, that you get to the 25. Okay, we sort of figure this out. Now, what are they doing here? Uh, a line. Okay, we know the plus sign and the equal sign. Um, five and six, so two, three, six. Well, two times three is six. How do you get a five? Two plus three is five, okay. So uh, this is division, okay. One over two plus one over three, because the common is six, and then two times three, so that'd be three and two, five, okay. One half is three sixths and one third is two sixths. I got it. And here's another one. Okay, eight over 15. Okay, a lot of learning here on this first page for these aliens. All right, so three and five is eight, but that's not how you do this. <laughs> okay, now what's this? Five and two over three, and you're Combining it like that, a mixed number. Hmm, well, that's a fraction and that's an integer. Okay, that's what they want to do. Let them do that. Two times th two x. Why, what's this x? Two, three, six. Two plus three is five, not six, so that x must be something else. All right, three, three. Okay, that gets you to six. And don't even bother figuring out how to do this. <laughs> All right. We've passed uh, elementary school. Let's go on. 
Okay, I remember this one. That's the hydrogen atom state transition. And 1t is we're defining the unit of time. And 1m, uh, oh, mole. <laughs> All right. Mass, time and mass. So 10 to the ninth we know. And 1 and 42 one hundredths times 10 to the ninth is one second. Okay, I'm going to have to count these. Yep. And then we're defining units of time. 86 400 seconds is one day. 365 days is one year. I'm going to have to look up that uh, star system. Let's see where that planet that has 365 days is. And 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd mass equals 1 gram. See, they forgot the 0.02. I learned that from chemistry class, high school. 1,000 grams equals 1 kg, kilo. So they're not using 1,024, these crazy humans. 6 times 10 to the 27th grams equals 1 e, whatever that is. Okay, now length, this 121th of L equals one centimeter. So something 21 centimeters, I'm not sure what that wavelength is. Uh, 21 times 10 to the eighth, okay, so that's what it is. 21 times 10 to the eighth angstroms, so that should have come first, so you can understand 121 L, all right. 10 squared centimeters is a meter, 1,000 meters is a kilometer. They're using a metric system. All right, they finally figured that out. Okay, now what are we looking at now? Well, that's a big thing. That must be their star, and these must be their rocky planets that go around their star. And, okay, remember that km, if we go back, the km shows how to calculate length. So kilometers, whoa, that's big. And uh, is that the size or distance? Well, these number, yeah, that's got to be size because uh, that's uh, mass or, uh, oh, this is kilometers around. Is that the diameter of their sphere? Probably. And these numbers are increasing, so these must be distances. Okay, 58 times 10 to the 6th kilometers. 108. Uh-huh, so we have to multiply. That's obvious that we have to multiply this by 10 to the 6th. All right, so what's this dark one? That's where they live? I guess so. And, okay, I guess the E is an Earth mass. Yeah, what's going back here? That's the mass of the Earth, I guess, in kilograms. So this is one, well, that's obvious now. 1 19th the mass, 82 one hundredths the mass, that's pretty close, it's a neighbor, and only 11% of it, okay? 25 days, 57 days, one. Okay, is this the rotation of the sun? And is this the, okay, This so this is the year, and this is the Mars year, and the Venus year, and the Mercury year. Only 57 days from Mercury to orbit. Wow. Oh, cool. And, okay, well, yeah, so we, we looked in our telescopes. We saw this Jupiter thing, and these crazy Saturn, Uranus, which is wrong. Oops, their ring should be vertical. Neptune, and that's not a planet. That's a Kuiper belt object, you dummies. All right, so what do we got here? The same units as previously. Whoops. Yeah, so that's cool. We can figure out their solar system, their planets. And... Let's just look at the rest of the pictures they sent us. Ooh, is that their sun, their earth, or their moon, or 
What are they doing? I guess we're going to have to download their book and read it. Well, that's a spectrograph, obviously, and there's dark lines. So is that of our sun? Ooh, craters, yeah. Okay, I think uh, that there are some satellites around these planets. Ooh, nice picture. One-tenth Earth mass is the moon. Well, that's that Jupiter thing we saw. That's pretty big. 318 Earths. And that's the Earth. 12756 kilometers is 1E. That's distance around. Is that circumference or diameter? Hmm. Okay, now what are these? Chemicals? They have to figure out that these are chemicals and, and compounds, H2O. So they'd have to measure our atmosphere using that spectrograph and figure out the proportion of elements and compounds. That CO2 must have gone up a bit since 1977, so they can't figure this out. Now what's this? Organic chemistry. T, A, G, and S. Okay, I thought it was C, but apparently not. Now what are these? Bonds? Double bonds and single bonds and rings? Yeah, we've seen these in our microscopes. Okay, now what are they showing us now? Ooh, look at those bonds. They attach and detach. T, A, G, S. A to T, G to S, and there's a big number there, A and G. Oh, here's an A and a G attaching to a T and an S, and uh, they helix each other. Okay, 34 angstroms. Oh, this must be really, really small from here to here. Oh, from here to here. Okay, for the helix is 34 angstroms, and this... It's really, really small, which we're magnifying. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cell division, mitosis, one three hundredth of a centimeter. Oh, yeah, when we cut one of these people up, this is what we're going to see. Bones, bones connected to bones. And the other side, bones connected to bones and muscles. Okay, and... Yuck, what the hell are they showing us? Ew. Ugh. Intestines, why are they showing us this? Ew, that's disgusting. Uh, it's in every one of them, a rib cage, huh? All right, oh boy, what are they showing us now? Two symbols, it must be male, female. Is this male or this female? It's confusing these days. And what's this? Genitals. Hmm, 12 centimeters, hey. That must be really small. Um, zero seconds, so this is uh, fertilization. One one hundred fiftieth of a centimeter. So, okay, male gives you this, and female has this cell, and somehow they merge. And what do you get? Oh, look at that. That's the lucky guy. And then one second, that's what it looks like. One fiftieth of a centimeter. Forty-three two hundred seconds, that's when you have two cells. So they must be mitosing. And then 34, 5, 6, 3 million seconds, you get something that looks like that. How do they do that? I have no idea. How does it do all that? There must be some real amazing code. Those T, A, G, and S's that converts that little cell into this and this. And they have hands oh, and belly buttons, feet. Oh, how cool! We got a color image. Hey, cutie. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Man, woman, they're touching. They could do that? 
20 years and 20 years. And that thing in, wait, that was the baby, right? Uh, that's the thing we saw, yeah. And that's inside the woman, not the man? Okay, these crazy humans. Ew, oh wow, it's all born. And who's that guy with a mask? <laughs> yeah, okay, 266 days before it comes out. And it's got that cord. And wow, that little thing. Oh, I guess it needs to eat. So that's where it gets something to eat. Oh, if it eats too much, it grows up. Okay. And then you get these rugrats. Okay, and then, they, okay, this is years, so four years, 12 years, eight, 30 years, and 80 years. So this is what people look like, these humans, a four-year-old, a 12-year-old, um, the 30-year-old, and she weighs 54 and a half kilograms. The 80-year-old loses weight. 80-year-old, you look like that, and they only live to 80. Ah, oh, they live. These must be the people who created these people. Oh, okay. So this must be the Earth. It's an ellipse. A lot of years ago, and years, and years. So. We can't see, oh, this hand is pointing to now, and this is the future, that Australia is gonna merge. Hmm. All right, so this must be 1977 when they sent it out. What are they trying to tell us here? Our numbers, fractions, one earth. So we're we going inside the earth. Core, mantle, crust. Yeah, it's full of uh, H2O. And that's an island. Okay, the H2O interacting with rocks. And they're building things on rocks. How they do that? And then I guess, okay, so those rocks bump into each other and they create these things. And uh, uh, a lot of sand, so that must have been old rocks that just decomposed. And there's something on the, that, let's call it sand. These two things and something on top of that thing. Okay, there's not just humans, there's other, there's four-legged things, wow. Uh, this must be an interesting planet to visit. Come on, people, let's go. Mushrooms. Ooh, mycelial network. And these things, what are those? Plants? Green things? Photosynthesis? Can we deduce all this? Oh, okay, that helps. A two centimeter Okay, so there is dew that gets to these things, which yeah, if we could magnify that, maybe we'd see more. The stomates, and that must be a human, a two-legged human, in raking leaves. So those green things fall down, they turn brown. And the leaves that are green turn to brown. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, a six-sided crystal. So could that be a water crystal that stays on trees? And oh, look at that. That's for a plant. That must be how plants reproduce. 14 meters for this thing. That's a big plant. 
Ooh, there's other life. That how can it fly sideways? Okay. Those are those things we saw earlier. This thing must need something from this thing then. Okay. Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. We've got all these living things. Well, they must have started at the bottom looking like this. And then they did this and became frogs. And uh, the men turn into frogs when they disobey the woman. And uh, these used to be dinosaurs, I guess. Huh. And this man's got... What kind of animal is that? Walks on fours. Fours. This has twos. Where's the four? Oh, here's the four. Huh. Oh, well, they must know about evolution. That's something dead. But look what it did. A, no a golden ratio. Wow, these things fly in the air. But there's water on their tails, so they jumped out of the water? Okay, this must be water. Okay, we saw a bunch of those things earlier. These must be a whole ton of them living in the water. And what's this man doing in water? I don't know. Okay, we saw that thing earlier, the frog. And this hand... Oh yeah, the, those humans have hands. Okay, so it must be a small frog in compared to the human. And that's a big frog. Now it's an alligator. Okay, measuring it. What do these people do? Wow, dinosaur flying. Okay, we gave them horses and they made zebras. Hmm. All right, these horses drink from water. So that water must be important for their biology. And, you know, they look alike. These, uh, that must be their great grandparents. What are these? That's a black and white silhouette, 120 centimeters. And okay, so this picture, this is explaining this picture. And they're looking at that thing. And what is that? A rod from a tree? So. These people need this thing. Why do they need that thing that they're willing to throw this? And it could pierce that thing. It could That thing could die. All right, here's a human. A human female. And more females. Human male. And human and a beast. An elephant? Hmm. What, is, what are they making the elephant do? That elephant's too smart for that. And old human doing something. Burning fire? They know fire? An old human. Those must be those flower things we saw. Oh boy, what's this human doing in a crazy position? That must be a big, one of those things from pushing the land up. All right, let's put this through the decoder and figure out why they didn't put this photograph of gymnast Kathy Rigby in this and they also didn't include here comes the sun by the Beatles because they couldn't get the copyright release so this is the picture that we couldn't see on the CD the DVD-ROM of a balance beam 
So these humans, wow, look at those. They could play with their muscles and do all these things. Fascinating. We should visit them someday. Uh, these humans, okay, there must be a lot of different types of humans. And they wear numbers. That's scary. Okay, little humans and mm, older humans. So the older humans must help the little humans. And here's some little humans looking at a ball. But then, you know, looking at that ball, oh, that looks like that picture from 1977 of what their planet looked like. So the kids are learning about the planet. And what's this? Cotton? So they're growing plants on their planet. And these things, that must be something that the plant makes. He's drinking from it directly off the grape. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, those things again. You know, their prices for 1978 compared to what happened in 2022 with hyperinflation, that look doesn't look bad. Okay, H2O. Jerry Greenberg. Somebody's been immortalized. Copyright Jerry Greenberg, all rights reserved. Uh, we shouldn't be seeing this. We didn't pay Jerry. And what's that, a videotape in the ocean? <laughs> H2O. 1977, not enough videotapes. Okay, so these are humans with something they made on something they made in the water. Oh, no, they're they're going out fishing and I guess they have to consume these animals. Oh yeah, that's what they do. They get together and they all consume. Yes. Ugh. What are they doing? They're licking, they're biting, and they're pouring something down their mouth. These humans, I, I don't get it. They built this. They made a big wall. They're making their people walk a wall. Oh, they're putting together. They're smart. They're using these little things to build the big things. Okay, they got a brain. Oh, wow, look how they do that. How could they get all the way up there? They must uh, yeah, build ladders and stuff and to get to the big things. So they're, they're, I guess they are intelligent. Oh, that's cute. They really made a nice one. Hey, look at that. Is this fence? Good fences make good neighbors? Huh. Well, I guess they got to raise these uh, little guys. So the parents must stay with those little guys for a long time to teach them how to be human. Oh, okay. So the neighbors don't talk to each other. I get it. Yeah. They have to isolate themselves from each other. And they have to clear land to put up these things. And what's inside those things? They collect all these little tokens of stuff that the men create or the women create. And that they know about fire, so they could cook. Oh yeah, they gotta get those animals and cook them, oh boy. Oh, well, that's a big house. I wonder who lives there. Must be the president of the world. So a lot of houses 
Okay, so there must be millions of these humans that they got to figure out a way to scale up. Oh, yeah, all these humans on these things. So they love the water. But look at that. that that's really out of proportion. They're building. So there must be huge. They've got to get a thousand humans into that thing. That's another one. So it's going up to the sky, scraping the sky. Oh, look at that, the darker. This is light, this is dark. So this must be when they go around their sun, their star. It gets dark on the dark side and then they gotta give themselves light. So they've made artificial light. Ah, they're really intelligent. What'd they do? They took some orange peels and uh, made a structure out of it. Well, they're wild. They're wild and crazy humans. And Okay, so they create tools. They make their tools and then they make things from their tools. Okay, well that could lead somewhere. Uh, big tools. Okay, oh boy. Arcs and... Uh, so they've organized themselves to create big things. And what do they get? They've got uh, people. And, okay, they must be studying things. So they've been around for a million years, maybe. So they're trying to figure out where they came from. Oh, look at that they could see inside their bodies. So they must have a science to figure out radiation. And what is that thing? A tool of some kind, but okay, there could be some magnifications of the very small going on there. And what is this? So they're all move oriented in the same way and that's okay that's an animal connected to something oh they figured out the wheel so they must be moving places okay there's two wheels that that makes sense so they're moving uh, more wheels so they're so crowded uh, two wheels they've got to they can't figure out how to use their planet bright Okay, more, more, oh, they must need to go fast to speeds. They didn't teach us about speed. We could teach them a few things about that with our wormholes. Oh, this is what they're so proud of. 1,280 meters that they could get from this rock to this rock. And they're so proud of this. They had to lay all this track for this thing to go fast. They had to learn how to go fast. Oh yeah, they really had to learn how to go fast. They had to get into the sky. They had to get off the planet so they could go visit each other across the oceans. Uh, okay, so this must be the spaceport where they uh, get a whole bunch of humans into that thing and it flies. It flies like that. Okay. Got it. What is that? Whoa, that looks dangerous. They must be melting their planet away. Okay, that's how they talk to extraterrestrials. With bicycles? I mean, anyone with a bicycle could come and talk on that thing? Yeah, we've heard the that little message from Arecibo. Oh, here's Arecibo. 1977, the good old days of Arecibo. Yeah, we picked up that thing that they sent, that little low-res picture. What's this? 
Okay, that makes sense that, uh, yeah, the falling of a projectile. Uh, they figured out how to orbit their Earth. How about that? And what's this? Crazy language. Hmm. So they're AED, AED. Okay, so they are communicating with language, written language. They figured that out. Hey, they figured out how to get off their rock. Look at that. That's what we see. But that's a human. Well, that human needs all this stuff to stay alive out there. They're, they're really smart. Oh, that must be how they get up to above the earth. Okay, so the huge fire through these. Uh, so they must have figured out how to blast off their earth. And birds, those flying dinosaurs again. Okay, so that's the sun, their sun setting. So it's just their rock is rotating. What is this? What are these, these humans doing there? All dressed up, they're not showing those genitals. What are they doing? What are these things? That's one of those things. And what is this? This thing has strings, so it must vibrate. And what are they doing with it? They are. Oh, that thing across the string. So they are. They are doing vibrations, and this thing. Uh, it must be the type of vibrations uh, up and down. There are four of these, so there are four of these humans. So each human is reading one of these and making these pitches. So they must like that, that there's pitches. Well, they sent us this record, so they must love vibrations that create longitudinal waves. Okay, now what is this? They are sending written text, more written text. Who's this guy? That must be the president of the world. Huh. Who are these people? But what are they sending us? Okay, they, they have names. We'll name him Barry. Barry, that'll be the baby's name. And what do we got here? Oh, these must be the people who paid a lot of money to get their names on this record. And we're back to the circle. We've had enough of these humans. Quit. Okay, so we figured out how to get onto their internet and how to borrow a book. And now let's look at this book here, Murmurs of Earth, digitized in 2012. So is that a year? And who's this guy, Carl Sagan? Okay, so the contents of this record, 118 pictures. Two bars of Beethoven, greetings from the president, a list of the Congress, the United Nations, 54 languages, the whales, the sounds of earth and music. Okay. And then we've got things to read, pictures, greetings, okay. pictures starting at 71. Okay, how do we go there? Okay, now we're getting somewhere understanding these pictures. 
So we gotta learn this language. In order to figure out what they're trying to say about these pictures. Okay, where are they? Where is Christy before all this, right? Okay, this is still early. There she is. So this is a uh, Macintosh and iPad app that uses IPFS, the Interplanetary File System. So let me log on. Okay, so it can run locally on your PC or you can run it uh, connected to the internet. And it gives you your own universe where you could put whatever you want on it. And let's magnify the universe and we see some post-it notes. An Arecibo message, a pioneer plaque. Ooh. And what else do we see? We see the sounds of Earth. United States of America, planet Earth. Hmm. And there's an inscription on this record. We can't read it, but uh, it almost didn't make it onto the spacecraft because of that inscription was not in the original spec. So these administrators at NASA said, sorry, you didn't uh, follow instructions. And uh, basically, it's your own canvas, so you put things on it. And then you could magnify and read something that's on the web. So this is actually a web browser in my universe. And another web browser showing me the book. So like if I click this and magnify, um, click into this, I should see here, here's the uh, URL. And then it's got nice little features for transclusion of content, sharing um, content, and uh, recentering yourself. And then you can add things to your universe with this thing button. You can add cards, web pages, photos, files, and text boxes, and post it notes for now. And there's this area for uh, sharing your favorite items. Uh -huh.